wait until you see this bathroom. It's amazing. And right after we show you the bathroom, we're gonna talk about storage and storage. Oh my gosh, the Wingham just keeps putting out. I gotta tell you about this bathroom. It's probably other than the bed. Did you know this is a bed? Yeah, this is the upstairs bed. This is the downstairs bed. If you haven't seen that video, start at the very beginning of the Wingham video series because I spent the night in this very bed. But we're talking about the bathroom. And it is just a piece of art in such a small camper van. That is what is so amazing is that the Wingham Oasi on a Ram Promaster chassis is 17 feet 8 inches long, which is a few feet shorter than the Travado. But this bathroom spares no expense in space in such a small rig. Let me give you a little tour here. It's kind of obvious, but you just need to see this. Clearly, this is the medicine chest, hey, everybody. And true to form on Wingham style, apparently comes with towels, is what do most manufacturers do? I'm gonna close this one just because it's to close on its own because of our downhill slant. Most manufacturers give you the shelf, duh. But then you have to figure out a way to keep things in and on the shelf. Wingham, like we saw earlier in the galley video, if you haven't seen that, you want to see that video. What they do here is they put a little rail in. Nicely done, not something cheap and crappy, but really nicely done. It's got a little bit of give to it, and that holds your stuff into this ginormous medicine cabinet. We're gonna measure this for you here in a minute, and a really big mirror to go along with it. A little bit of a toothbrush holder here, really soft, embossed vinyl. This almost looks to me like a vanity. The sink, though not porcelain, it is really high quality, I'm gonna say fiberglass or plastic, but look at the size, we'll measure that for you in a minute, of this sink. A residential style faucet, on, off. The dimension towels, has a towel rack, here's a hook, here's a hook. Lighting appropriately placed in front of your face in front of the mirror. Where do most people put the, uh, RV manufacturers put the light? Yeah, behind you. So you're always in a shadow, which just drives me crazy. Thank you, William, for getting that figured out. Here's a vent. How about a window in your bathroom? Yeah, it's kind of dark outside still, but let's show you what this looks like. That is a beautiful, huge awning style window in your bathroom. So if you want to shower with the nature, you can do that, but keep the bugs out. Or if you want a little privacy and maybe some ventilation, you can do that in your bathroom. Unheard of in most RVs. But wait, there's more. Let me close this up. And that would be the actual shower. This looks like something you would find in a high-end hotel chrome backlit cubbies for your stuff cubbies for your stuff and pretty deep this is the temperature water control now because there is some wood in here we'll look at the cabinet in just a second you do require a shower curtain but it's on a track not a snap-in and it's really really caught on my foot. Really, really large. So it goes all the way around. Kind of tuck it down like this. Pardon my feet. And this is no toilet is seen. You're keeping the wood protected. Keeping the door protected. And this thing is huge. So this would be your shower experience. Shower head appropriately placed, right? At you on top of you, not like this, and not kind of wimpy installation, the don't touch it, don't break it type of thing. Um, you have lots of room in here to splash and spray, and it's really pretty amazing uh, how big this shower space is. It uh, truly is amazing, and I don't get claustrophobic in this at all, like some of the other showers, particularly with a shower curtain. And when you're done showering, you turn the water off, and you 
Move the shower curtain out of your way. Just like that. It kind of tucks into the corner a little bit, I would say. And then you have this big old bathroom to get ready in. The drain in the floor is right here. It has this mat um, on top of the glossy plastic. You can just see that. This is really good on the foot feel. Since we're down here, let's look at this vanity. Positive blocking. Ginormous. There's actually a, a throw rug for the bathroom. Here is more storage. Have you ever seen so much storage in a RV of this size before? Not me either. What we're looking at here is a Dometic brand toilet. Now what this is, is you five gallons, so you do your thing here, it goes into the tank down below, and then you access the tank from outside, and that's how you empty the five gallons of toilet waste. Lights, dim, dim, or brighten. And what if you wanted to have a mood lighting shower? Would that be cool? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Now you can see the backlight really well, right? It's just stunning. I cannot believe how big this thing is. And it feels like a hotel bathroom. That's what it feels like to me. It does not feel like a micro van RV bathroom at all. And when you're done, dressed, out you go. Notice this real handle. And you open, and there you are into the great room and galley of your motorhome. Pretty amazing. But wait, there's more. This is the wardrobe. It has a snappy clip here. And this thing is huge. So here's a wardrobe bar. So your shirts hang this way on the hanger. And you can stuff this thing. I'm guessing you could probably get at least, I don't know, what do you think? At least 15 shirts in here, maybe even 20. And if you want to build in a little shelf thing over here, there's tons of storage here. If your shirts go down to here, you have still all the storage down below. If you don't need a rack for a rod for your clothes, all this becomes storage. Again, you could probably install some shelving. Call your attention to the radial design here. One of the cool thing about Wingham is that there's no square corners in this thing. Everything has got a curve to it. And when you close it, it just becomes almost a work of art by comparison. See kind of the waveform here? It's really beautiful. But wait, there's more. Down below here is yet more storage. This is cavernous. We'll measure that for you. So stay tuned. We're going to measure the bathroom and measure these spaces here. Just wanted to show you, again, the radial design, really lovely, integrated. And that's in addition to the storage that is accessible from the outside. All right, with that, are you ready to measure some uh, elements of the bathroom? Yeah, me too. Let me get this set up and let's get measuring. Let's start with the sink because I think this thing is just really amazing. So the circumference, is that what you call it? Well, from one end to the other end of the bowl, I am not a math major. I live in a van. 16 inches. It is literally 16 inches from one end of the bowl to the other. And the depth, I'm going to say, is at least five to six inches. Unbelievable. The whole width of the vanity part here is um, 24 inches by... 20 inches and if you include this little bit behind the toilet this is where all of your uh are you ready for this 40 inches four zero 40 inches of horizontal space in a bathroom for makeup shaving products getting ready gear and that is stunning so on the stool let me just kind of measure this 
from the floor to the toilet this thing right here is uh what's that red thing say uh, 16 inches it's a very comfortable height um matt's rv reviews he's kind of got the prime pooping position i would say this would give a give a thumb up from matt so if we look at the medicine chest up here the entire length now it does have a divider in the middle but the entire length i am going to say is wait for it i'm going to say is 36 inches three feet ladies and gentlemen long by six inches deep and you got two heights here this one is almost eight inches this one is uh, let's call it uh, seven inches so this is just again a humongous amount of storage it's the little things that matter like this little rail to kind of keep your things from falling out let's measure the um, height of the bathroom so from the floor, uh, this is uh, 73 inches, which is pretty amazing. 73 inches in height. Um, what else can I measure for you here? Um, I'm just stunned by this size of the sink. If we look at the cabinet here, um, the top shelf is quite large. So let me just kind of get you a sense of that. So it's about yeah, 16 inches deep and it's about 21 inches wide and it's pretty tall it's about 10 inches tall so pretty amazing uh, the one down below has a little bit of um some of the plumbing apparatus so um it's taken up a little bit but nonetheless it's ginormous amounts of storage in a micro rv that uh is 17 feet long eight 17 feet eight inches long which is a couple, almost three feet shorter than a Travato that's on a ProMaster van. It's pretty stunning. It's hard to describe how big and how different this feels than any other van bathroom I've been in. Um, it's not a pivot where there's that transformer wall, but I would say this would get a huge thumb up for me. I'm not a giant fan of the cassette toilet because uh, I use my toilet for all the duties. Um, so that would be kind of a knock on this for me but that's just me. Very popular, the cassette toilet. All right, let's measure some of the storage. All right, let's take a look at this wardrobe first. This thing is just huge. So I'm gonna measure um, uh, depth. And it's kind of tricky here because at the widest point, it's 18 inches. At the skinniest point, it's probably, I'm gonna say about eight inches. But what is consistent is the width this way. And it's 34 inches wide and wait for the height. It's, are you ready for this? It is 46 inches tall. That is stunning. And you can put some command hooks here so you can put more stuff like coats. Uh, just amazing. And this cabinet down below, I'm probably gonna have to show you my back, I apologize. But let me see if I can get a quick measurement on this. Um, again, like this cabinet, it's about 19 inches uh, deep at the deepest part, about eight and then it's going to be the same width, which is, wait for it, uh, yeah, about 25 inches. And the height is um, right at 24 inches. So it's just, again, an amazing amount of storage. And it's so elegant, so beautiful. What do you think? Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the camper van travel experience, or in this case, being the first person that's not a Wingham employee and the first YouTube channel to overnight and spend this much time in the Wingham Oasis, imported from Italy. It's for sale now. They're taking orders. Price is about 145 grand plus shipping, plus taxes, licenses, and registration and options. It's a really compelling rig. I really like this on so many levels. Uh, you can get more information by emailing them directly at us at Wingham. Dot com. We'll put that right here for you. You can ask me some questions too. And more importantly, I'd love to know what your feedback is on this rig. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that video. This is one of a series of videos we did on the Wingham Oasi imported from Italy. You want to see the entire series, which starts with me spend the night in the bed. We want to thank you for watching. Comment below and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this kind of a rig. Is it something you're interested in? We have more videos coming up, including the differences between this and a Travato. You might be compelled to be like, what? 
Yeah. Till we see you soon, I wish you to journey on and peace be with you. See you later.